Justice Neal is from New South Wales, Australia, and he's a permanent resident of Papua New Guinea. Justice Neal was admitted to practice law in PNG in 1970. Over the years, he practiced law in PNG, Australia, and New Zealand. In PNG, he provided legal advice for many years in both the public and private sector and has a vast knowledge and experience in civil and commercial proceedings. I worked in the public solicitor's office and at that point in time, it was, the, if you like, the colonial period and we did good things, I think. People felt that they could come and uh, get justice by going through the public solicitor's office and I found it wonderfully exciting to find out about the different cultures of people in Papua New Guinea. So often people say, oh, people are different, but in fact we all have the same problems. He will serve for a term of three years. He has four adopted children who were at the government house to witness his swearing in. The swearing-in now adds the total number of judges to 40-plus. CJ says Salamo said more judges are needed to cater for the pending cases, especially the criminal cases. Apart from that, on the whole, uh, again with the increase in the number of judges, we should see disposition of criminal cases moving a lot, a lot faster. But I've said before that an ideal number of judges to really move cases a lot faster than uh, we are doing at the moment is uh, about 60 to 80 judges. However, budget constraint is one problem that the Commission is facing when planning to appoint judges. So obviously uh, budget constraint is one. The next is of course the availability of sufficiently experienced uh, lawyers to be appointed to the bench. The pool of experience national and non-citizen lawyers have obviously increased but we need to identify those lawyers who are willing to join the bench. Fasinata Yama, National MTV News.